on people, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan, and I do hope you lot are all doing well today, and yes, welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to be talking about a certain Belgian forward, that's right, Tris Mertens of Napoli, soon to be of nowhere. That sounds like there's a hit on him and he's about to be murdered. Soon to be a free agent, that's right, the 32 year old who's literally about to turn 33 is still in stupendous shape. He's a wonderful forward, he's a very, very, very versatile footballer and he will be available on a free this summer, provided he scores at least one more goal after the resumption of Serie A. Why am I saying that in a French accent? It's very much Italian. Anyway, point being he's about to be Napoli's top goal scorer of all time and that's his ambition before he leaves but provided the season does resume in Italy he will have the opportunity to score said goal and move on to pastures new a different project and that could very well be Chelsea Football Club and I'm going to be talking about that in today's video why it would be a perfect move for Chelsea Yes. So, quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy because we are literally on the cusp of 50,000 subscribers. Incredible scenes. The channel is about a year old, so to get 50k in my first year is so bad. It's really nice. It's good. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me along the way. Please do hit the bell notifications icon if you do want to subscribe. I upload daily. And why not like the video, man, to help a brother out? All right, let's get into it. So I've explained the situation with Dries Mertens. He plays at Napoli. He's like an auxiliary sort of centre forward winger. He can play down the middle, kind of like a false nine, but he's also very much like a shadow striker. Very versatile, can play on both wings, can probably play as a second striker or number 10 as well. He's really, really good at football, and Chelsea could do with him. Now, I'll tell you why Chelsea could do with him. Because Willian and Pedro are both leaving in the summer, who are basic, well, they are wingers. They're wingers. Already, he's like a replacement winger. But also, Chelsea are probably looking to cash in for centre-forward Michy Batshuayi this summer. And of course, Yuru has got an extra year at Chelsea. Chelsea have triggered an extension clause. But that could be only to protect investment, maybe, and they might still sell him. So Chelsea are left massively short for forwards, whether it be striker or winger. Of course, Dries Mertens is both, so he fills that void. But also what you would have noticed of those players that I've just reeled off, apart from Michy Batshuayi, they are all senior older players. Frank Lampard is a very young Chelsea football club squad, and he'll be looking to bring some seniority in the front line to take responsibility when the club can't, the club, the team can't score goals. I mean, the club would have worked as well, but you know what I mean. Dries Mertens can be that man. Now, an important thing to note is we are, of course, in a world health pandemic. No one knows what's going on with the transfer window and how what the state of affairs is going to be, what the state of play is going to be, what the financial landscape is going to be like. Of course, you've got people like Ed Woodward of Manchester United coming out saying, look, people need like a reality check here. Big signings are not going to be able to be made. I think he's trying to like say, look, we can't spend 140 million on Jadon Sancho. Maybe they will buy him for less money, but people are saying, look, the big money transfers are not going to be possible due to the the state of affairs in world football and indeed just generally the world. You catch what I'm saying? Off the bat, Dries Mertens is perfect then because he will be a free transfer. Superb scenes, Chelsea need a sort of versatile forward. Dries Mertens, check, can play loads of positions. Chelsea needs seniority in the front lines. Dries Mertens, 33 years old, check, very senior indeed. And also, Chelsea will be looking to get bargains in so they can spend money elsewhere free transfer. Now granted, Dries Mertens will have to be put on a big contract and you imagine it would have to be two years. Chelsea would only be interested generally in giving a 30 plus player 12 months, one year, that's one year or 12 months, but with Dries Mertens you'd think Frank Lampard would absolutely see him playing till he's 35. He's in superb shape and he can be just that figure around the dressing room, who knows, maybe next summer and a year later, Chelsea sell them to the MLS or something. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So it makes sense. Provided Dries Mertens gets his, um, or fulfills his ambition of becoming Napoli's top goal scorer by scoring, I think it is one more goal, then he'll be happy to go onto a new project. Now, of course, I've reported on the news stories before that Frank Lampard has been calling Dries Mertens up most days, every other day, or nearly every day, the headlines are saying. And although Christoph Torreira says that's probably not true, he hasn't been calling him every day. 
still probably insinuating that he's made a decent amount of contact, he is very interested in Dries Mertens. And it's also been reported by other journalists that Dries is interested in the move as well. Especially someone like Christoph, he's of course a Belgium journo and he knows all the players very, very well. So there's interest on both sides from the Belgian, from Frank Lampard, and I think probably Chelsea generally. They'd understand that they want that senior figure in the front line, and also he'd be a great player to have around the dressing room. If you watch this channel, Football Therapy, you will know my opinion that I'm a little bit of a Dries Merton super fan, not just because of his player profile, he's quite nimble, scores loads of goals. By all accounts, he's like a really nice, caring dude. But also, he's really funny, so it'd be good to have around the dressing room. And he's, if you need someone to play as a striker, he is an amazing option. He obviously exploded under Maurizio Sarri, scored loads and loads of goals there. Frank Lampard will be able to rely on him to sort of run in, be nimble. Eden Hazard, when he used to play as a false nine, he often spoke about Dries Mertens and said, Look, man, Dries is like me. We're both sort of, they're kind of like similar in size and shape, but he's like, he doesn't play like me really. He's more of a goal scorer. Eden Hazard said that. So he really likes Dries Mertens. They both start for Belgium. So they're both like, what's Belgium still number one ranked team in the world? They're both starting for that team. When you get high praise from Eden Hazard saying you're more of a goal scorer than he is, that can only be a good thing. And yes, he is old. And yes, it won't be a long-term contract. But again, something that I've spoken of before, the fact how he's played, under Maurizio Sarri and did so, so well in that 4-3-3. Frank Lampard, of course, is his own manager, but he's adopted loads of things from Maurizio Sarri's Chelsea and his current Chelsea squad. Now that's smart, not to just come in and completely rip up, you know, the sheets or plan sheet, the him sheets. Is that the phrase? Point being, he's maintained some of Maurizio Sarri's style, perhaps giving a bit more license to the forwards. So someone like Dries Mertens will drop straight in and he'll feel at home and he should be able to like do the combinations and run into the space without wasting too much time. And of course, a massive notable point here is he could be receiving balls from, that's right, Jorginho, his old Napoli homie. They could be getting the link up back together. That could work really, really well indeed. They've got a good understanding. Fire that up again. Dries running onto Jorginho, long balls, scoring goals, mate. For me, it just makes a lot of sense. You can keep Tammy Abraham with the number nine. He won't particularly feel threatened by Dries Mertens, a 33-year-old Dries Mertens. It's like another Oli Giroud, someone he can learn off, someone he could like compete with. He knows you know, Dries won't be there for five years to basically take his place at Chelsea, but he'll probably be excited to learn off him, as will hudson Adoy, man, and Pulisic. They'll see Dries, how he's played on the wing for Belgium, starting for Belgium, scoring, you know, goals and looking amazing. They'll be like, can you please teach me how to do that, please, Dries? Please, Dries. See what I'm saying? Frank Lampard is interested in Dries Mertens. He's pretty much, well, he's almost confirmed he has by not batting him away like other players when questioned about him. Christoph Serrera obviously says Frank Lampard is very interested. Journalists around Italy, lots of people are confirming the interest. And for me, I think this deal is very, very, very much a goer. I'm excited at the prospect. It looks like Chelsea are the front runners. If you look at the bookmakers odds, Chelsea are by far the fav most favourites to sign the player. I don't think he's going to renew with Napoli, especially if Serie A does resume and he gets the chance to score another goal and become the top goal scorer. But anyway, I want to get your thoughts and opinions on Dries Mertens. Do you think he would solve our frontline problems? I do think Tammy Abraham will get better and better. I did a video on him yesterday and I urge you guys to go check it out if you haven't watched it, talking about his numbers and how he is pretty probably good enough to be Chelsea's number nine moving forwards. But you add someone like Drews Mertens, I personally think that's perfect. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And yeah, just let me see it. I'll be down there replying to your comments and seeing what you're saying. Also, remember, if you have enjoyed the content today, why not like the video? It helps me out a lot, as well as subscribing as we are so close to 50,000 subscribers, man. Incredible scenes. And also, worth mentioning that I do daily FIFA 20 live streams up on my other channel, Jan's Yard. If you want to hang out 5 to 6 p.m. every evening, click on the link in the top of the description. Let's build a Chelsea team together. It's loads of fun. It's very interactive. So go check that out. Do show me your support. And 
that's pretty much it for the today's video. Have I missed anything? Oh, you can come follow me on social media as well, if you'd like, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. And that's probably it for me, guys. So enjoy the football that's sadly not happening at the moment, and I will see you later, mate. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.